All right, welcome back everyone. So in today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at staircases. In this part, we'll make a more straight style staircases. And in the next part, we'll take a look at some curved ones as well. So yeah, let's uh, jump right in and take a look. All right, let's begin. So the first staircase we're going to make will be um, a straight box style staircase. So add a plane into the scene. We're going to use this to make our staircase. Open up your channel box and let's rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis. There we go. And then I'm going to press F to frame in on it. And you can see that we have pretty even subdivisions. Let's go into the front panel for a second. So tap your spacebar to open your four panel view. Hover over your front panel and then tap the spacebar again. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to change the proportion of this. So the profile. So right now, if I press T on the keyboard, I can bring back this window. And for now, I'm just going to um, make the width um, 10. I'll explain in a second. And let's make the height 7.5. And then let's go into face mode. And we're going to delete um, a diagonal section of this mesh. So half of it, pretty much. So hold down the tab key to enable drag select. And then I'm going to uh, drag um, this diagonal section away. Sorry, I'm going to select those faces is what I meant to say. And there we go. And then let's press delete. So now we have something that resembles a staircase. And we chose um, 10 and 7 half because if we take a look here, right, this section, I'm just going to go into edge mode for a second. I'm going to select that edge. This section here is called the run. And this section here is called the rise. And sometimes the run is also called, also called the tread. That is what you would step on, right? But the dis actual distance from here to here is the run. So, um, and this is the average step. Now, you don't actually have to make a stair that has those exact um, dimensions, but it makes it look realistic as well if you keep to it. And so what happens when they make these staircases is if you want to make the rise a little bit taller, say, instead of seven and a half, you want to make it um, eight and a half, then normally what they would do is they would take an inch off the run. So instead of 10, it would be nine. That way, um, it makes the step comfortable, right? So say I want to make the step a little bit longer like this, that way they don't have to step as high when they're stepping. So when you're moving up those steps. So just want to mention that. All right, so now let's get started. Let's uh, go into edge mode. So we're about to make a box style, style staircase. And we have a bunch of edges here in the middle that we don't need. So I'm going to go into edge mode, double click any of the perimeter, perimeter edges, right? And then we'll hold down shift on the keyboard and do a box select. And that way we select only the ones on the inside. Um, now we're going to delete it, but instead of normally um, pressing control and then delete, which deletes the edges and the vertices, right? These edges are connected to this point here. So I'm just going to press delete. Then I'm going to go into vertex selection and manually delete these vertices. Um, I'm selecting those ones, holding down shift, selecting these ones, and then we'll, let's press delete. And now let's go into object mode. We'll go back to our perspective panel and let's extrude this. So I'm going to turn off the grid and you have an extrude option in your modeling toolkit over here. What I'm going to do is use the marking menu. So I'm going to hold down shift and the right mouse button and extrude. And I'm just going to pull this out and let's make this uh, four units. And just like that, we have our uh, box style staircase. And this one here, um, you'll see, you know, it's pretty common in a lot of homes, right? And also you'll notice that we have an end gone on both sides here. Because this is so planar, right? You don't really have to worry about it. There's no there's not going to be any major like shading um, anomalies. But if you want, you could um, triangulate it now or let the game engine triangulate it for a mesh like this, right? So to triangulate this, you'd go to mesh and triangulate if you don't like that end gone, but I'll just leave it alone. All right, and now let's just name the staircase. We'll just call it um, maybe like a box staircase. It's basically a, a straight box staircase. There we go. And then let's hide it and we'll make our next one. So the next staircase we're going to make is what you would find on um, a deck or a porch, right? But also inside a home as well. So let's add a plane into the scene. And I'm going to rotate this again, 90 degrees in the X. And then let's uh, take a look at this. So 
press T to bring back this window and let's uh, change the width and the height. And I'm gonna make it 10 and seven and a half again. And you can make yours different if you like. Um, it re really won't affect this too much. And um, all right, so now let's uh, go into face mode and we'll delete those faces again. So, by the way, they're doing some construction somewhere close by, maybe outside my door. So you might hear some noises in this tutorial. So sorry about that. All right, so I'll delete those faces and then um, I'm gonna go into edge mode, double click this edge, hold down shift, box select those ones. And this time I'm gonna unselect this edge here because I need to move this point up from that vertex. So I'm gonna keep that edge. All right, so now let's delete that. And I'm gonna go into vertex selection, grab these ones and these ones, and we'll delete those uh, vertices. All right, so now let's grab this vertex. We wanna move it up to where that edge is aligned to, where that vertex is aligned to. So what we can do is we can hold down V on the keyboard, click and drag, and then hover to hover the mouse to the vertex you wanna to align to, which is any of these ones here, right? And then let go. All right, now let's go into object mode. We'll select our mesh. And then um, let's extrude that. And I just want to give this a little bit of thickness this time. And I'm just going to make it maybe like 0.25 is fine. All right. So we made this piece. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So select it, Control D to duplicate it. And let's move a copy roughly over here. And this staircase, um, you might um, know it as a stringer staircase. So this structural piece here is called a stringer. And um, sometimes when there's two of them, it's called a double stringer, right? So what we'll do now is we'll make our step for this. Add a cube into the scene. And what we want to do with the cube is we want to move this pivot to the corner over here, or this corner, I should say. And then, so let's hold down D, then V, click and drag, move that over there, let go. And then we want to snap this to this point over here. So hold down V, click and drag, and move it over here. And then let's move this face over here. So we'll go into face mode, select this face, then I'm gonna hold down V on the keyboard, click and drag, and hover my mouse to the point I want to align to, which is that one. All right, now we can scale this. So this piece here will be the tread, but it's our step, right? So we'll move down to about here. And then, um, that's pretty much all you need to do for that step. But sometimes you'll notice on some of these staircases, this front piece, which comes out a little bit. And when it does, it's called a nosing. So that's just a, a little more terminology for you. I'm going to make it without the nosing though. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. And now what we want to do with this is we want to duplicate it with transform all the way up this step. So let's um, control D to duplicate it. And what I want to do is hold down V on the keyboard, click and drag, move it over here. I'm going to let go and then I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard and press D a few times till I have uh, the steps I need, which is like that. All right. So now let's um, select it. We'll make it one object. So by combining it and we'll just open this up. We'll delete that history and we'll rename this as well. And we'll just call this a stringer staircase. Um, sometimes you'll see this in homes as well, and not just outside. And um, inside, uh, sometimes this structural piece here, the stringer, there'll be just one piece in the middle, might be metal. And um, sometimes it goes by another name, uh, like an open riser staircase. Um, and it can look quite modern and nice, um, some of them. So just want to mention that. Let's hide this, and we'll make our last staircase. So. And the last one we'll make is uh, what you would find in a stairwell. So same idea, let's add a plane. You notice the technique of this is quite similar and it um, makes it really convenient for making these staircases. Let's rotate this. And press T to bring back this window. I'm gonna make it 10, um, 7.5 again. And then let's go into face mode and we'll start deleting those. There we go. And then let's go into edge mode. I'm gonna double click this edge, hold down shift, grab those ones, unselect this one again. Let's delete that. And then let's go into vertex selection. We'll grab these ones and those ones. 
There we go. And then we'll snap this to the top, hold down V, click and drag, and let go. All right. So with this one, I'm just going into object mode. I want to extrude it, but I want to make it thicker to about right here. Let's make it maybe four units. And so this looks pretty good, right? And so depending on the stairwell um, and, you know, like what are, these are made of, you may want to make this a little bit uh, maybe thicker to feel like it provides more support. So I'm going to actually um, go into maybe the side view for a second, right? We'll just grab these vertices here and here, and let's move that down. So just grab that and give it just a little more thickness. All right, so let's go into face mode and we'll select this face and I'm gonna move this out and this will be our landing. So maybe a little more, there we go. And then um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to select this face and let's extrude this out. So I'm going to hold down shift and the right mouse button, extrude. We'll bring this out to about right here and I'll make this maybe like five units. That should be fine. And then um, now we have pretty much like part of it, right? And we can uh, duplicate this. So let's control D to duplicate it and let's rotate it. So I'm going into my rotate tool and I'm gonna hold down uh, J on the keyboard to enable uh, snapping. I'm just gonna rotate it this way. There we go. And then what I wanna do is just move it over here, move it down, and I wanna snap it. So what we're going to snap is um, this point to here. So let's move our pivot over here. So hold down D then V, click and drag to move that there, and then let go and then hold down V and snap it to there. So now we have pretty much our stairwell. So what we can do is for now, I'm gonna make it one object. Keep in mind that with these modular pieces, you may just want to leave the face there rather than deleting it, right? So I'm just gonna make it one piece for now. And then I'm actually gonna turn it this way and I want to um, just check where I need this pivot. And I think I'm gonna press Control D, move it down. So I need to move my pivot to uh, basically this point over here, so up there. So I'm gonna delete that. So let's go into our move tool. Let's move our pivot up here, hold down D then V, right? And then what we can do is control D to duplicate this, move it down or up, and then snap it to here, right? And if we hold down shift and press D, right? We can make um, the stairwell as, um, as many levels as we want, so. So it's pretty easy, pretty fast to make a stairwell. I'm just gonna delete these. I only need this one for now. So now let's uh, take a look at our staircases. Um, for now, I'm just going to delete that history. We'll name this stairwell. And then we'll unhide these ones, selecting both of those, pressing H on the keyboard. And we'll move those off to the side here. Or let's go this way. All right, so let's take a look. So we have our box style staircase. We have our stringer staircase or open riser. And then we have our stairwell. So those are the more of the straight styles. Now the, these staircases might have different names in the real world. Um, sometimes this is called a U-shaped staircase, but for our modeling purposes, uh, they all fit within our straight staircase of modeling um, for this tutorial. So yeah, that's it for this one. And um, in the next one, we'll take a look at um, the curved staircases. So see you all then.